In 2007, Dr. Cam co-authored an article for Nature entitled, Why is Cancer Drug Discovery So Difficult? I asked him what were his conclusions. Cancer drug discovery is difficult and is probably a lot more difficult than we had thought maybe five or ten years ago uh, when some really impressive drugs like Gleevec uh, and uh, Herceptin uh, came on the market and uh, really made huge differences for patients. That gave rise to the view that it was going to be easy, uh, that we now understood you know, all the investment and in research um, over the last 30 years or so is beginning to, beginning to pay dividends and uh, you know we understand a lot about cancer and what I think has unfolded in the last few years it's actually not as simple as that and in fact you know the disease when you look more closely is actually genetically very complex with minimally dozens and possibly hundreds of genetic changes so you know taking that information now and, and deciding what we're going to do with that complexity is is our challenge and I think it's fair to say we don't yet understand how we're going to tackle that problem. And how do imaging techniques applied to oncology aid the diagnosis and monitoring of cancer? And for what I suppose, what specific application uh, is oncology clinical imaging used within Amgen? The metabolism of a tumor is, is one thing of interest and it's reasonable to suppose, and in some cases this is documented, that if you interfere with uh, cancer metabolism, the cancer cell will respond, uh, it will die or at least not grow. And so you can imagine using this kind of imaging as an early endpoint. One of the ones that's also interesting has to do with understanding whether your drug actually interdicts or modulates the target that it's designed against. This is of course pretty easy to test in vitro, in test tubes, uh, maybe even in cultured cells or in animals. It's obviously hard in humans because you can't go poking around in humans and taking out tissue. What is, what is exploratory imaging? What clinical questions does it answer? And can that justify the rather enormous cost? Well, it's a good question. Uh, you know, the costs in this business are, are high and they're getting higher. It's, it's not clear, but I think that's the hope that by imaging, by getting early reads on drug action in people, that you will save money and be more efficient. So ultimately, it will, there will be a cost savings.